Hello, my name is John Bittescombe, and I'm Wesleyan's Athletics Director, and I is my distinct pleasure uh, to serve as the Master of Ceremonies for the first annual induction ceremony for the Wesleyan Athletics Hall of Fame. That is not only a special day for the inductees, but also to the many students and coaches that have been a part of Wesleyan's rich athletic history. It has been particularly rewarding for me to be involved in establishing the Hall of Fame, for in the process of soliciting nominations, many wonderful Wesleyan stories have been uncovered. Whether it was reading what team sports were like at Wesleyan in 1912, or listening to former athletes talk about the admiration they had for their coach, there was a common theme expressed. That theme was that athletics was a special experience for all of the inductees and a very important part of their time on campus. You will undoubtedly hear many of these stories today and I'm sure that you will find them as meaningful as I have found them. Now I have the pleasure to introduce Wesleyan 16th President Michael Roth. For it was surprising to me to see um, how uh, responsive the athletes and the coaches and the parents were to just a little support from the university for their endeavors. And I think that's what's so wonderful about this Hall of Fame project is we're recognizing excellence. Uh, and we're recognizing athletics as a crucial part of the Wesleyan experience. I want to thank uh, John Bittescombe, Barbara Jan Wilson, and especially the Athletics Advisory Council, led by uh, Dennis Robinson and Moira James, for making this Athletic Hall of Fame a reality. Wesleyan has a history of intercollegiate athletics that spans over 140 years. From its origin of college athletics, Wesleyan was among the first participants in organized collegiate competition and a, a charter member of the NCAA. Wesleyan helped create many of the rules that govern athletics today through their association with other colleges, particularly in the East Coast in the early days of college sports. Our first inductee is C. Everett Bacon, the class of 1913. Ev Bacon is being... Ev Bacon is being inducted into the Wesleyan Athletics Hall of Fame for his accomplishments as an undergraduate in football, baseball, and tennis. Jim Dresser, on behalf of the Wesleyan Board of Trustees, will accept Ev Bacon's award. Everett Bacon's story stirs enduring pride throughout the entire Wesleyan family. Were he here, I know he would accept with the same grace that marked a life of accomplishment and service, indeed the same grace and style that marked his outstanding play. Thanks, Ev, you remain unforgettable. Our next inductee, James I. Wendell, Wesleyan class of 1913. James is being inducted into the Wesleyan Hall of Fame as an athlete and a leader. His son, Bud, will accept James' award on behalf of the Wendell family. It's a great pleasure to be here um, and to uh, have a chance to experience the honor of my father, who was such a dedicated athlete uh, and loved Wesleyan. Our next inductee is Henry Salon, Wesleyan class of 1949. Henry is inducted as an athlete. When I first came to Wesleyan 34 years ago and began to learn about Wesleyan's athletic history, one of the first people I heard about was Henry Salon. Both coaches and alumni proudly recalled the stories about Wesleyan's greatest squash player. Our next inductee is Bill Rogers, class of 1970. Bill is being inducted as an athlete.
Wesleyan's legacy for producing great distance runners is well known. However, no Wesleyan runner is as well known as Bill Rogers. Thank you very, very much. It's wonderful to be here at Wesleyan. Haven't been here enough over the years. I'm always at a road race. And uh, story of my life, kind of a strange life, but, but I actually, you know, I just like Henry said, Henri said, you know, he talked about Wesleyan. We all feel the same way, I think, about Wesleyan and what a fantastic place this is. And I can remember those days like yesterday. We, we all do, I think. You never forget. And the history of Wesleyan's history as a university and, and also the, its athletics history is fascinating. Just walking through the Freeman Athletic Center and seeing the photos there is just stunning. It knocks you right, right out. And I want to salute my coach, Coach Elmer Swanson, because your coach is a key, just as, as Coach Belichick has done you know, with the Patriots. It, it's all here. The sports are up here, really, here and in your heart, but, but you have to have that connection. An athlete and his coach, and Coach Swanson was such a kind of a subtle coach, but he allowed all of us to develop. William Belichick, class of 1975. Bill is, of course, being inducted as an athlete and coach. I certainly appreciate this honor. Um, you know, I've had a chance to accept a few awards, but there certainly isn't anything that means more to me, uh, more in my heart, than to be recognized by this university. Uh, the time that I spent here were, was four unforgettable years. Uh, the people that I met, both the faculty, uh, students, coaches, classmates, were, uh, it was an awesome experience. You know, the four years here, were, it was an awesome experience. It's, as we all know, it's such a diverse group of people, especially when you get on the athletic field. And uh, one of the things that I really learned here was how individuality can be combined into a team uh, atmosphere and a team element and to be successful on it. Our next inductee is Kathy Keeler. Kathy Keeler, I'm sorry, Wesleyan class of 1978. <laughs> Kathy is being inducted as an athlete and coach. Kathy came to Wesleyan during the pioneer days of women's college sports. A very talented athlete, Kathy participated in field hockey, basketball, and crew at Wesleyan. Well, I am honored to be here today, too, especially with all the other inductees. 30 years after graduation, it's fun to come back and be recognized. In 1973, I met Pat Callahan in the stairs of this very building, walking up to the athletic department offices when I was looking at Wesleyan. He asked me the fateful question, are you a water woman? <laughs> I gave him a puzzled look, and so he figured I wasn't a swimmer. So he started telling me about rowing. My interest was piqued, and the rest is history. The second important piece was that Wesleyan decided to admit women again. That decision and the acceptance of women in the classroom and the athletic arena made my experience one that I continue to cherish. The third piece that is oh so important for everyone to remember was the passage of Title IX. Growing up, I always wanted to compete in sports, and I dreamed of Olympic glory but my athletic experience didn't amount to much before 1973. There just weren't any teams for girls to participate in. So I would really like to thank all those people who set the groundwork, fought for access to the fields, the courts, and in my case, the river. I feel and always will feel that I am res representing all the women who came before me. Our next inductee is Barbara Martin Herslick, class of 1981. Barb is inducted as an athlete, coach, and leader. I had the pleasure of watching Barb Martin perform on the field, hockey, and lacrosse, and with the lacrosse teams. Here today, when I reflect on my Wesleyan days and the years that have followed coaching and administering athletics, I often think of the influences Wesleyan has had on my life not only the diverse liberal arts education I received, but primarily the effect of my Division III athletics experiences. Being given the opportunity to participate on several teams and develop relationships with coaches and administrators was invaluable in preparing me for my future. My field hockey and lacrosse coach, Gail Lackey, has been the model by which I have shaped my coaching and administrating. Her positive attitude an ability to bring out the strengths of all players has had a lasting impression on me. Norm Daniels came to Wesleyan as an instructor 
in uh, athletics and physical education in 1934. By the time he retired as an adjunct professor following the spring baseball season in 1973, Norm had been the head coach of five different sports, football, basketball, baseball, wrestling, and squash. I'd like to thank everyone present for this honor today. I'd like to wish you a very, very happy the rest of the day. I, I, I really don't know how to really thank you. And now we get to the undefeated teams of 1946, 47, and 48. As Coach Belichick can attest, going undefeated in football at any level is an amazing achievement. Going undefeated for three seasons in a row is extraordinary. Bill Brooks has agreed to speak on behalf of his teammates. Not least are the teams of 46, 47, 48. I would like each and every one of you to stand up and be recognized. I'd now like to invite uh, Quasimodo, one of our a cappella singing groups, to come forward and lead us in a familiar song. So are you going to come forward, folks? <laughs> 